controller settings in this video have allowed me to do this with my aim, this with my build, and this with my wind. These are easily my favorite settings, and a ton of pros are using super similar sensitivities to this, so we know that they work. But I am going to show you two different sets of sensitivities, and I can almost guarantee that you'll like one of them. First up, though, is all these other settings that aren't the sensitivities, and these, there's only really one option for them. Like, my brightness and colorblind modes are all default. Although these settings work for every console, I personally play with a controller plugged into my PC, so I play on performance mode. Then we have the audio tab, and the only thing that matters over here is under sound you come over here to visualize sound effects and you want this turned on if you don't already have this on it's literally a game changer it's almost like a cheat code it's kind of crazy one bumper click over will take you to the game tab and over here this is what i have for all my movement and combat settings preferred item slots i use this for this season specifically i actually just changed these around and then underneath of combat is the building settings and these are probably some of the most important settings in the game turbo building and reset building choice are probably on by default so you You've probably always used those, but disabled pre-edit option you want on. In auto confirm edits, I set this to both and I love a it. A lot of people swear by using double edit binds, which you still actually can do with this set to both, by the way. But I don't actually even use double edit binds. Like this is just my edit speed on confirm edit on release. So basically what that means is if I click my edit button, I click my select button. And as soon as I let that go, it confirms the edit. Which by the way, I'm editing with my paddles. So that's why I'm not actually clicking B. But with this setting set to both, that means it's also going to do it with reset. Set. So I click my edit button and then all I have to do is click my reset bind and it resets. That means I can edit and reset super fast and really easily. Like doing this is actually one of the easiest things in the game for me. Now under the building tab is like the tutorial extra game options and these are kind of just all personal preference honestly. And I would say that kind of applies to the game UI tab as well. Obviously you need stuff like your reticle, player health resources, minimap, you need all that on. But as far as like the HUD scale option goes, the damage scale numbers, how the damage numbers read if you want the reticle ammo indicator on or off. A lot of this stuff is just personal preference. So I will just go down real quick so you can see everything. Net debug stats is how you're able to see your ping in game if that's something you're interested in. Otherwise you can copy all of that. We get to the touch in motion tab and this is probably the most useless tab in all of settings. It's just not good at all. It's really not worth using specifically in Fortnite. It can throw off your aim a lot. If you're like me and you get like really into the game like end game you're flinching, your legs are shaking, your controllers moving. Like you think about how much that's gonna throw off your aim. Your character is gonna be looking like this in end game. And even if you did manage to control it really well, it's still not worth it. It's not good. No good players use this. And the next two tabs are mouse and keyboard senses, mouse and keyboard binds, which don't matter. But the controller sensitivities tab, this is where I'm gonna actually give you guys two different options to use. The first option is my personal favorite settings. These are the settings that I always play Fortnite on and have been for a while. And they start with edit hold time being all the way down, but this setting doesn't actually matter. Matter. I can turn this all the way up, all the way down. It doesn't matter because over in my bind, my edit bind is specifically set to B or my pad. So if the button you click to edit is set to this one, switch mode slash edit hold, that's bad. That's when this setting is going to matter, but your edit speed is going to be so slow. So make sure your edit bind isn't on this one and it's down one on edit. It's set to edit build. This is your edit bind. This is what you need to be on. Switch mode should be a separate button. Most people know that, but just in case you don't, there you go. Slide whole time 0.075 i think anything under the default of 0.15 is good so mine is 0.075 works great camera access and camera reset time this once again is specifically a bind so if you don't have this bound i actually don't even know where the bind is on the new settings that's how little i care about it oh it's actually over here in the gyro control so obviously we're not going to use that no button should be set on any of these or i just tried to get way too complicated with these settings and it just none of them are even good but we do want to make sure we have vibrations turned off that's just gonna again help with the aim almost every setting in the game is to optimize for aim that's the most important part so vibrations that little buzz can throw off your aim a little bit quick weapon another one of these useless settings no one is using this like in theory it's cool but it literally just makes switching weapons slower it's not good over to this tab the first thing you got to make sure is you have use advanced options turned on that's gonna make these completely grayed out so you can't actually change them. and that's completely fine these whatever 
further on, it doesn't matter because we're looking at these, the build and edit multipliers, which on my favorite settings, I have both of these set to 2.0. These are basically the only settings that don't affect your aim because what these are doing is multiplying your look sense. So your look sense on my favorite settings is 43% on both horizontal and vertical with no boost. So some people try to argue with me, which I don't know how, but this sensitivity is what you're using for your shotgun aim when you're not ADS. So when you're in a build fight, when you shoot, you're shooting like this. You're not going to go make a peace control play and then ADS and shoot someone. By that time, they're ready out of the box. So what you're doing is doing some sort of peace control, popping them, dropping down, shooting like this, and all of this is your look aim. So this is your look sense for just running around. You're obviously using your look sense. But when you switch to a gun, it doesn't automatically change your sense. This is still your look sense. So that means you want your look sense to be fast enough to be comfortable running around the map on. But it also has to be slow enough to make sure your shotgun aim can be really accurate. But ADS is where it kind of is more subjective. So ADS on my favorite settings, horizontal is 6%, vertical is 7%, and boost are all. ADS, if you didn't know, stands for aim down sight. So it's when you're clicking L2 to sort of zoom in and scope in on it. Which this gun isn't even in this chapter, but for all the guns this chapter, all the different scope weapons and all the different attachments and stuff, I found this ADS sense to be perfect. Like there's no situation where it's too slow, too fast. Two second look, too many time. These are linear settings, but the other option of sensitivities I'm about to give you are actually exponential. So my favorite settings are linear, but some people do like exponential and I'll show those off right after I show my dead zones, which are 10% on both left and right stick. But some players don't like these settings, so let's change these to another super popular player, Foxman. These are his main settings he's been using forever, and he's also very good at the game, so we know that these are proven to do well. And if you are gonna adjust your sensitivities if one of these settings are too fast or too slow for you, this entire top tab, you don't need to change. Quick weapon, you don't need to change. You're gonna be adjusting the sensitivity. So Foxman is using a 2.2 on both build and edit multipliers. His look sense on horizontal is actually the same as me, 42 3%, but his vertical is 45% with no boost. His ADS is up at 10% on horizontal and vertical with no boost. There's no look damaging time, and the biggest change, the thing that's going to really make these settings feel different, is that we're on exponential instead of linear. And dead zones are going to be the same at 10%. So the difference about exponential is the aim is going to feel a lot better. You're probably going to hit a lot more shots. But the building and editing is going to feel really clunky until you get used to you it. You can kind of tell that I am not an exponential player. I'm a linear player. Player, and that's why expo feels really weird to me it's hard to build and edit but if you like the way that these settings feel players that stick with exponential can actually get insane and now i've set a challenge for myself in this video and so my challenge is i have to get at least a 15 elimination win on one of these two settings i'm gonna start with my personal favorite linear set that's good it looks like we have at least three other people here four five six Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Okay, that's where the aim's gonna come in clutch. Let's go. Let's go. What I can do is get here, go bang. What I need now is Peter's pump. There it is. Gotta get down here, grab the vault. Oh my god. He was sitting here waiting. What a freak. Like, bro, you're so bad. I just hid almost the entire game till there were 16 players left. He just hid in the vault waiting for someone to come with the key card. And that's the result. Like, okay, bro, I gotta pick it up. I gotta pick it up. Bang, easy stuff. Where's more people at? I need them. My god, he fried me.
way, bro. Oh my god, he's so lame. He's so lame. That is quite unfortunate. The auto shotgun is so broken, it's insane. But I guess that means I'll go ahead and make my attempt at getting 15 elims on the exponential set. Bro, how is no one getting Peter Griffin this late into the game? No way it takes this long to get him. But you know what? Coming out of Snooty, five Elims, I'll take it. There's a med kit down here. Huh, which one do I take? I think I'd rather have Peter's pump as long as no one else gets this. Bro, I don't want to jinx it, but I can't believe I'm about to do this on the Expo settings. Like, bro, like, I never play Exponential. These are not my favorite settings. These are good settings, obviously. But my favorite, not even close. Like, everything feels so awkward on it, but it just, it works somehow. There it is, bro. 16 elims on the exponential settings. I did not expect that at all. Well, I mean, obviously both of these settings are really good. I'm still going to be using my linear settings. I like them a lot more. Well, go ahead and give both of these settings a try. Let me know in the comments which ones you like more. Subscribe and thank you so much for watching.